Good day everyone. So we will now going to solve a rational equation. Example, 1 over x plus x over 2 equals to 11 over 6. So the first thing that we have to do is to determine its LCT. So if we have x, 2, and 6 in our denominators, so by the use of our denominators, we can determine the LCD of the given equation. So what are the fa uh, prime factor of x? Very good. It's 1 multiplied by x. So since it's 1, we don't have to write it. Next, prime factor of 2 is 1 multiplied by 2. So, since yung 1 ay hindi naman natin nilagay, huwag na rin natin na mga isulat siya. 6 multiplied, or what the factors of, or the prime factor of 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. So, as you can see, we have a common number of 2 and a single number of 3 and the value or the variable x. So, just multiply the those numbers or including the variable, it will become our LCD. So, 2 times 3 is um, 6 multiplied by x is 6x. So, definitely 6x will be the LCD of the given equation. Now, this LCD will be multiplied on each term of the given equation. So, 6x multiplied by 1 over x make sure na kapag ginagawa ninyo ito ay kapantay ng LCD ninyo yung numerator dun sa term na yun no? para hindi kayo mahirapan mamaya na mag cancel out na mga dapat i-cancel so x, 6x multiplied by 11 over 6 so after doing that uh and so let's try to solve the following terms so here we can cancel out x ang matitira ay 6 multiplied by its numerator 1 plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 so ang may iwan na lang will be 3x multiplied by x equals to cancel natin yung 6 ang may iwan ay x multiplied by 11 so after doing that, compute or distribute the following. So 6 multiplied by 1 is 6 plus 3x multiplied by x. So we have, very good, 3x squared. Kasi ang exponent nito ay 1, ang exponent nito ay 1. Kapag tayo ay nagmumultiply ng dalawang variable, same variable, we just have to add those or their exponents. So, 1 plus 1 is 2, kaya x squared equals to 11 times x is 11x. Okay? So, after this, uh, we have to transform the given equation into its standard form. So, again, what's the standard form of the quadratic equation? Very good. We have ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 or in a should be a positive integer okay so let's now transform this into uh, its standard form so let's first write the quadratic term which is 3x squared squared to a uh, this is 2 next so the linear term is the 11x so applying the addition property of equality it will become negative 11x plus 6 the constant term equals to 0 sir bakit hindi po nag iba yung sign ng 6 kasi hindi naman siya lumagpas dun sa equal sign no, nandun pa rin naman siya sa left side ng ating equation ok so Ibig sabihin po, ang ating standard form ay 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 equals 0 sa ating given equation. So, after doing this, 
ay hahanapin naman natin yung mga factors niya no yung binomial na ginawa natin last time so we have factors ng 3x squared i 3x and x and the possible uh, factor of 6 is 2 and 3 now what will be the operation so it should be very good both negative okay because negative 2 multiplied by x is negative yung dalawa diba para masigurado natin kung tama yung ating combination of factors negative 2 uh, negative 2 times x is negative 2x then ito negative 3 multiplied by 3x ay negative 9x pag pinag-add natin yan it will become negative 11x so negative 11x po yung nasa middle term therefore tama po ang ating combination of factors at the same time yung kanilang operation so after doing this after finding the uh, the two binomials by if a factor uh, equate natin sila into zero so we have 3x minus 2 equals to 0 and x minus 3 equals to 0 for us to to know the value of x from uh, each equation so we have applying the very good addition property of equality so we have 3x equals to 2 multiplied or divide by 3 para makancel natin yan ang may iwan na lang ay x is equal to 2 over 3 2 over 3 next x is equal to ano kaya? very good positive 3 ayan so the first value is x Wait nga lang, rewrite ko nga dito. X is equal to 2 over 3. And, puray natin ito. Okay? So, X is equal to 3 and X is equal to 2 over 3. So, I hope you, I hope you get to understand the first example. Let's now proceed to example number 2. Okay? Okay? So, what will be the LCD? Alright. So, the LCD will be 5x. So, anong gagawin natin kay 5x? Imumultiply natin saan? Very good. Sa lahat ng term dun sa given equation. So, 5x multiplied by 2 over x minus 5x. Copy the operation na. Multiplied kay x plus 1 over 5 equals to 5x multiplied by negative 4 over 5. So, what will be the next procedure? I-cancel po yung mga pwedeng i-cancel. Katulad po na itong x, pwede po natin i-cancel. Ang matitira na lamang po ay 5 multiplied by 2. Copy the operation, negative. Cancel natin yung 5 ang may iwan ay x multiplied by x plus 1 equals to cancel ulit natin yung 5 ang may iwan ay x multiplied by negative 4 so 5 times 2 is equal to 10 negative x multiplied by x we have x squared negative x multiplied ito yun na kasama yung negative. So, negative x multiplied by x ay negative x squared. Negative x multiplied by x, it will become negative x equals to negative 4x. Okay? So, after that, um, anong gagawin natin? Very good. Ita transform natin into its standard form. So, we have negative x squared minus x 
ililipat natin or addition property of equality from negative 4x it will become positive 4x plus 10 equals to 0 okay so meron tayong pwedeng i-combine negative x sa kayong positive 4x copy the negative x squared negative x plus 4x or negative 1 plus 4 is equal to positive 3x plus 10 equals to 0. So, is this the, the standard form of the given equation? Okay. So, as you can see, we have a negative x squared on the quadratic term. So, the standard form will be should be positive. So, ano pong gagawin natin? Imumultiply natin siya ng negative 1. So, that it will become positive. So, negative 1 multiplied by negative x squared. Negative times negative is equal to positive. So, we have x squared. Negative 1 multiplied by positive 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 multiplied by 10 is negative 10 equals to 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. So, there you are. We have the uh, standard form of the given example. So, anong sulod po natin gagawin? Okay, hahanapin natin yung mga factors. Factors ng x squared ay x and x. And the factor of 10 na pwedeng magkaroon ng 3 pag pinag-add or pag pinag-minus natin is 2 and 5. Ayan. Okay, so ano maging operation ni 2 at ni 5? Very good. So, negative, uh, positive yung 2 and negative yung 5. Para magkaroon tayo ng negative 3x sa middle term. So, after that, I equate natin sila sa 0. You have x plus 2 equals to 0. Hindi ka siya sa gilid. So, baba na lang. x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, applying the addition property of equality, we have x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to positive 5. Okay? So, that is our final answer. So, let's now proceed to example number 3. As you can see, um, in this example, meron naman akong ituturo technique sa inyo. So, kanina, meron kasing operation in the other side of the given example. Diba? 2x minus x plus 1 over 5. So, dito wala siyang operation in between the left or the right side. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Just simply uh, multiply or have the cross multiplication with this kind of example. So, meaning, ito will be multi 8 will be multiplied to the numerator of the right side and 5 will be multiplied to the numerator of the uh, left side of the equation. So, paano po yun? We have and 11x multiplied by 5 is equal to 8 multiplied by 6x plus 1. Tawag doon ay cross multiplication. ba nag-cross sila. So, 11x multiplied by 5 is 55x equals to 8 times 6x ay 48x. 8 times 1 is equal to positive 8. So, equating this into uh, yan. So, kailangan magkasama yung mga may x sa kabila at yung mga wala ay sa kabilang side. So, we have 55 x minus 48 x is equal to positive 8. 
So, 55x minus 48x is very good. We have 7x is equal to 8. So, para malaman natin ang value ng x, just multiply 1 over 7 or divide it by 7, both sides. So, this will be cancelled. And x is equal to 8 over 7. That will be the final answer. Any question so far? Okay, very good. Nakakasundod naman siguro, no? And number 4, last example. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, may, ah, nagkaroon tayo ng cross multiplication. No, itong dalawa, ayan, multiply natin. So, we have x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 6 equals to x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 1. Huwag kayong malilito, ha? So, yung um, yung denominator na ito ay minultiply kay 6 x minus 6 equals to x minus 5 naman minultiply doon sa x minus 1. So, after that ay uh, mag, 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 mag multiply tayo. So, x multiplied by x is x squared. Next, x multiplied by negative 6 is negative 6x. Okay? So, 5 times x is equal to positive 5x. 5 multiplied by negative 6 is negative 30 negative 30 equals to dito naman tayo sa side na to x times x x squared x times negative 1 is negative x negative 5 times x is negative 5x and negative 5 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 5 ayan so dito sa side na to ay uh, alamin natin or i-combine natin yung mga like terms. So, we have x squared minus x. So, negative 6x plus 5x. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1 or negative x. Minus 30 equals, dito naman, combining like term tayo. So, bring down x squared. Negative x minus 5x or negative 1 minus 5 it's negative 6 or negative 6x plus 5 okay so ano pong gagawin natin dyan ang um, lahat ng may x ay nasa left side lahat ng wala ay nasa right side so x no ito yon Tapos, itong nasa right side na x squared, positive, nilipat natin sa kabila, it will become negative x squared. Copy this, negative x. Tapos, yung negative 6x, ililipat natin sa kabila, or the addition property, applying the addition property of equality, it will become positive 7x equals to 5 Yung negative 30, applying the addition property of equality, it will become positive 30. So, x squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Negative x plus 7x is 6x equals to 35. 5 times 5 plus 30 is 35. Okay. So, divide this by 6. So, x is equal to 35 over 6. So, wait lang. Let me check my answer. record ako.
for a while let me check my final answer so and kino correct ko yung ano baka may mali akong process Six x five x minus thirty. Dito man x squared minus x minus five x plus five. Correct naman. So combining like term, negative x tama naman. Dito ay negative six x. So x squared negative six. Ayun. So this will become. This will become positive 6. Okay, so... Ayan, so... Uh, dito sa part na to, dito ko, dito ko nakita yung error natin. So, we have negative 6 here. Uh, applying the addition property, it should be positive 6x 7x yung nailagay ko no and ayan tama na we have 5 tapos negative 30 kaya nagkaroon tayo na positive 30 dun. applying the addition property of equality so x squared minus uh, minus x squared is 0 negative negative x plus 6x is equal to positive 5 ayan positive 5 Okay, so therefore, it will become positive 5. And 35, this is incorrect. 35 divided by 5, cancel natin to, di ba? So, x na lang ang may e1. 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. Ayan. So, dun lang tayo nagkamali, no? So, um, Okay, so that ends my uh, discussion regarding to how to solve a rational equation. So I hope you get to understand the examples that I have given to you. Good luck. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig.